This video will demonstrate the Influx DV database support available in Factory Talk Optics, starting with version 1.4. Influx DV version 2.7.6 was used. After installing Influx DV, start the Influx DV service using the command window. Notice that Influx DB is listing on port 8086 by default. Next, configure Influx DB by accessing a user interface via a web browser. Type localhost colon 8086. You should now see the Influx DB welcome page. Click Get Started. Enter the initial user setup information. Record this information as it will be used when configuring the Influx DB connector in Factory Talk Optics. Click Continue. The initial user has been configured and an operator token has been generated. Copy this token to the clipboard and save it. The token is needed when configuring the Influx DB connector in Factory Talk Optics. Click Configure Later. You are now ready to configure the Influx DB connector in Factory Talk Optics. In Factory Talk Optics Studio, right click Data Stores, then click New, and select Influx DB Database. Next, enter the configuration information that was entered during the Influx DB initial user setup. Copy and paste the token that was saved earlier during the Influx DB initial user setup. Create a data logger to log your variables and assign the Influx DB data store to the store property of the data logger. You are now ready to log data to Influx DB. In this video, Influx DB database 1 is assigned to the store property of data logger 1. Data logger 1 is configured to record changes in value for variable 1, variable 2, and variable 3. A screen with spin boxes and a data grid were created for demonstration purposes. Assign Influx DB database 1 to the model property of data grid 1. This allows us to manipulate the variable values and to observe that data is being logged to Influx DB. Let's emulate the project and change the variable values. As we change the variable values, the values are showing up in the data grid. We can also see in the emulator watch window that the Influx DB store is online. These both indicate that Factory Talk Optics is communicating with the database. Finally, let's look at the data in InfluxDB. We will select a table object in Data Explorer and set up a query to see the data in the FT Optics bucket. Here, we see the data that was generated by Factory Talk Optics for Variable 1, Variable 2, and Variable 3. Factory Talk Optics version 1.4 gives you access to the features and capabilities of InfluxDB. 
Thanks for watching this video.